Before we do, let's just take a quick look at a flowchart over here. This is the desktop flowchart, but we're just looking at the customer flow of the types of forms that we would enter and they would differ depending on the type of company we are using. So I'm gonna go from the easiest kind of flow to the most difficult type of flow. And the easiest kind of flow, when we're trying to get revenue, we're trying to get money into our business by selling goods and services, would be the type of business that you get paid by like a platform, like a YouTube or something, where you just get paid through the platform, and then you might use bank feeds to record the revenue with a deposit form. You can only do that though, if you're in that kind of industry. If you're in an industry, however, where you have a cash register, which is what we're gonna talk about now, you're still on a cash-based system, but you're not an as easy a system as a cash-based system that you can basically use the bank feeds to record your transactions because you're gonna have to record the sales at the point of the register typically, and then group them together and make the deposit. I'll come back and talk to that more in a second because that's what we're focused on here. Then we have an accrual system, which is where the invoice comes into play, which we looked at in a prior presentation. That would be in the kind of business where you, where you have to do the work first, like an accounting firm or a bookkeeping or a, a law firm landscaping. You have to do the work, invoice the client for the time and services and whatnot that were put in and then you've got to go through the process of collecting on the receivable and then making the deposit. So now we're focused on like a cash register type of situation. So in our case, we're in like a store, you might be in a situation where the guitars are being brought up to you at the cash register. We want to make the data input as easy as possible, which we did in the past by setting up the general ledger accounts and the products and services so we can populate the the you know kind of cash register data input as easy as possible now note you might think well why can't i just wait till it hits the bank still and basically use the bank feeds to record the sales you, you could do that and we'll talk more about bank feeds later but usually you don't want to do that because what you want to do is have someone working the cash register that you have some internal control over even if it's yourself to determine that nothing was stolen or anything like that, which is mean, which means you would like the, the system to be printing out the sales that you've made for that day. And you would like that to match out or you'd like to be able to tie that to the cash sales that, that you are making as basically an internal control. Also, when you make the sales receipt here, we're not gonna deposit it directly into the, the checking account in our system because you can imagine, for example, if we made $5 sales of whatever it is we're selling, we might have, you know, $105 sales here that if we entered directly into the checking account would go in there one at a time. Uh, but then when the physical deposit goes into the bank, we're probably gonna group those $5 sales into one group and then put them into the bank. And that's when you have this reconciliation problem. We wanna make sure that we're doing bank reconciliations. Reconciling will be more difficult uh, if we have this kind of difference in the, in the grouping. Therefore, we're gonna to have to go through the system of putting it into undeposited funds with the sales receipt or whatever the, the system's calling it, deposits to be made or whatever they call it here. And we'll talk about that in a second. And then grouping those to put into the deposit form in our system in the same format that will match what's going into the bank. And therefore, when we have the bank feeds, if we're using those, we can match them up to the deposit here, using it as a, as a helping tool to reconcile as opposed to a tool that we use in order to record the transaction. So in other words, we're still gonna have to record the transaction on our end, doing a full service bookkeeping system instead of waiting till it clears the bank and then just using the bank uh, to record the deposit usually. And that's just because of the nature of the business that we're kind of, that we're in, that we have a cash register situation.